Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your blog from scratch. Basically, once you've gone in and registered your domain name and then got it hosted, you'll see if you type in your domain name in the address bar up here, you should just see a blank page that says index of and has a few files listed. So the first thing you want to do is come up to the address bar and after the end of your domain name just type in cPanel and hit enter and then you should be brought to a page like this that has your box for your username and password and you just want to put in that information that you set up when you got your website hosted once you insert that just hit log on okay once you log in you should see a page similar to this now the first step I want to go through is setting up an email address um, you can use one that you already have set up or you can create a new one and then have it forward to one that you use all time um, this is what I do regularly so First of all, go in and click Add Remove Manage Account. Now, I've already gone in and set this one up, but I'll set it up another one just to show you. You just come down and click Add Account. And then just put in the email address and password. So all you have to do is put whatever you want before the at sign. So for this example, we'll put info. So it'll be info at getmydomainnow.info and put your password. And then click create. Then I'll go in and show you that it's been created. The email address along with the password and then it's been created so you just click back and go back again and then what we want to do is come down to forwards and click add forward and then for the one we just created is info at get my domain now that info and then whatever email address you want to send it to so for this example we'll just do the support one okay so like if you were to have a gmail account or yahoo or whatever that you check regularly you can always send this there and then you'll be able to get updated all the time without logging into your cPanel to find out. Uh, I use this regularly on most of my accounts to send all my emails like even if I get new blog comments or anything like that then I see it in there and I come, come in approve them or delete them or whatever it may be. So once you do that, just click Add Forward. And that has been set up now. So if anyone sends an email to here, it will automatically go to here as well. OK. So now what we want to do is go back, go back again, and go back again. OK. Now we're going to go in and set up the blog. So we'll scroll all the way down and click on the blue smiley face for Fantasco Deluxe. Okay. Now you want to just come over to the side here and click on WordPress. And we're going to go and do a new installation 
Now there's an option here you can have it set up so like if you want it under uh, subdomain like have it listed as blog or something like that you would put blog in here and then it would actually be set up under get my domain now dot info forward slash blog but what we're going to do here is just leave that empty so when you go to get my domain now dot info it goes directly to the blog so come down here and the first section here is the username and password that you'll use to log into your blog so you can enter that in there and then the admin nickname here will show up for any post you make so usually I just use my first name so put that there then put in your email address we can use the one we just set up so info at getmydomainnow.info and then put the title of your site get rid of that and make the first letters capitals and then you can put a brief description just something short you don't need anything big we can do that later on uh, plus all this you can change once your blog is set up so once you insert all this information just go down and click install wordpress okay once you've done that you should see this section here and this is step two of three and it just shows that it has been created so just click on finish install and then you'll see this and also if you have another email address that you want send the confirmation details to and just put it in here and click send email or just click back to WordPress overview now also you can right click and or left yeah right click and open that in a new tab and then we won't have to look at that after and so I'm going to just send this to another email and then we'll get to right over to that